Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get high FPS on a lower end PC. So this could either be like a 15 year old laptop and you'll still probably get 60 FPS on it. It doesn't matter if you're having FPS problems, like let's say you can only play the game at 120 FPS. Doing this single trick that I'm going to show you, you're probably gonna get 150 to maybe even 200 FPS. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So first of all, to do this trick, make sure you have NVIDIA Profile Inspector downloaded. There's going to be a link in the description of the specific update or the specific version that I downloaded. So after clicking the link in the description, you should be redirected into this page. You want to scroll down until you find the download button. So you just want to click it and then you should have NVIDIA Profile Inspector downloaded. After you do this, you want to extract the file. So either extract files or extract here, it doesn't matter. After extracting, you'll get these three, the, the config, the reference and the NVIDIA Profile Profile Inspector. So after opening up NVIDIA Profile Inspector, you'll be seeing this screen that I'm seeing right now. On the top left, you'll see Profiles and then you have a search bar. Search Fortnite. After searching Fortnite, you want to go and scroll down to anti-aliasing and then go down to where it says anti-aliasing transparency super sampling. Make sure you're copying my settings. So my settings are AA underscore mode underscore replay underscore mode all or basically just replay mode all. On default, this is set to off or multi sampling. You want to make sure you're on mode replay mode all. After doing this, you want to scroll down until you see texture filtering. Go to texture filtering driver controlled LOD bias. On default, this is turned on. So you want to make sure this is just turned off. After this, you want to go down to texture filtering LOD bias DX and LOD bias OGL. On default, this is set to zero. You want to scroll down until you see three and make sure both of these are set to three or else you won't see the ground. And then finally, texture filtering quality, set this to high quality. Anything on performance, high performance or quality will just ruin what the game looks like and you won't be able to see anything. After doing all of these, you want to click apply changes and then you want to open up Fortnite. So once you boot up Fortnite, you should see that your character is kind of weirdly textured. And if this happens, it means that the settings you changed earlier worked and you have school PC graphics technically. Now the game will definitely look ugly, like look at the battle bus and look at the ground. But as you can see, if I look up, I get almost 700 FPS to 800 FPS in real games. Now to me, I don't really need this since I get stable FPS, but for people who do need this, then you should definitely give this a shot. It's definitely playable in my opinion, like you can definitely play with these graphics, but honestly, I'd sacrifice the graphics for really really good fps i actually haven't played this game in a while so i don't think i'm gonna win this game but we'll see that's one kill i'm pretty sure that's a bot that's another bot when i face a good player i'm scuffed the internet in my place is not that good yet since i haven't i'm literally on a shared internet i'm definitely washed too because i haven't been playing fortnite as much I can see him through the wall. Okay, that's a pretty solid kill for somebody on high ping, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to win any more of those fights. Okay, this guy's a cranker, bro. This guy's a freaking weirdo. What the heck? Okay, that's a bot. So purely because I have no confidence in my fighting with high ping, I'm gonna camp.
I'm not sure if that guy was a bot. I'm pretty sure he was. I think it would be. I don't think it would be terrible to third party this. Just SMG'd him to death. What the heck is that guy doing? Dude, this guy's cranking up. Heck. No, he killed me. Actually, that was my fault. So yeah, I did end up losing that game, but it was honestly not the worst thing in the world. I was playing on high ping and I was playing on a new set of graphics that I was not used to, but I definitely did not feel any input delay whatsoever when it comes to my FPS. So yeah, I definitely recommend trying this out for anybody who's got a bad PC. You'll definitely see a significant FPS boost purely because it just sacrifices all the graphics and all the quality that Fortnite has. But honestly, if you're playing Fortnite, I don't think you would be chasing graphics or anything quality. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.